Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Frank the Man, barber and cosmetologist, and you're watching the Frank the Man TV show. This is a channel where I teach you how to increase your income, increase your clientele, and of course, how to cut hair, new techniques, things you ain't never seen before. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a low fade with the taper on the other side, right? Okay, so this is actually a pretty cool haircut because it's specifically modeled to my boy's head and to his uh, tattoo. One more thing before we get started, this is my boy Marco. He actually works with me here at Icon Barbershop, so you make sure you guys go ahead and uh, give him a follow, check him out because of my hair. So make sure you check him out. All right, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, step one is to create our foundation, our guidelines. Without our foundations, we are nothing, so make sure you create your guidelines. There are three guidelines, 0 0.0, 0 0.5, and one and a half. Right, so the first guideline is with a zero. Second guideline is with the lever open, which is 0 0.5. And then now we're putting a one guard on there and creating a third guideline. Since we're trying to get all the way up there to buy his hair, I'm running the number two. Whoops, almost had a boo-boo there. Right, grab your comb and you know, more importantly, grab a clip and clip his hair. Right, and I'm running that two all the way up there, making sure you know I'm getting rid of all that bulk. All right, step two, you guys, is the cleanup. My last guideline was a one and a half, so I'm using a one and a half to get rid of it. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing that we did to, the, to the, his taper, to his beard. Three guidelines, 0 0.0, 0 0.5, and then one and a half guideline. And he didn't like his beard lined up so high, so I went ahead and dropped it a whole lot lower. Using that handy dandy shaver there to make him as bald as possible and make him as crispy as possible. Sometimes you'll miss it, so go ahead and grab your trimmer and go back in again. All right, now to the other side. Like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, we're prepping this haircut specifically for his head. So on this side of the head, we're doing a fade, and on the other side, we're doing a taper, which is why there's a different step. So step one for this side is preparation. We're bringing that number two all the way up to his head, and we're gonna get ready for that fade we're about to give him. Sometimes I like to grab my trimmer and kind of just, you know, clean up the, the little hook area right there. Kind of give me, a, I guess, more of a foundation, right? I know what to cut and what not to cut. And rather, what to keep dark with these guidelines. And that is our step number two. Create your guidelines. This is your foundation, you guys. You're creating three guidelines, 0 0.0, 0 0.5, and one and a half. And depending on your canvas, either they're half an inch apart, or in this case, a quarter inch apart. And like I said, look, we're molding this haircut to this specific client's head. So, and of course, you guys, if you have not subscribed, please do so. You know, we just hit a new milestone. We hit 7K. Thank you guys so much if you're here because of the Edgar Cut. I appreciate you for subscribing and watching me, man. It's so much love, you guys. Thank you. So we're back to these guidelines, right? We did a zero guideline with the trimmer, which is still a zero guideline. And of course, we run this all the way to the back of the head. We're making everything parallel, so make sure this line in the back of his head is parallel to the line that is on the side of his head. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab our handy dandy shaver, and we're gonna bald him out again. Baby, baby bald right here. Careful with his ears, tuck him down a little bit. All right, now is step three. It is the cleanup. Grab that 0, 0.0 that you did and open the lever all the way down to create a 0 0.5. Now grab, put the one on there, drop the lever and create your third guideline. He has a very soft hair, so what we're gonna do, we don't gotta do a lot of it. You know, we're gonna go in between those guidelines that we created. In between 0 0.5 and 0, 0.0 is what, a 0 0.3. And if you notice, it's already pretty faded. You know, we're still gonna grab a number one in there and kind of go in there a little bit. Grab your trimmer, make him as crispy as possible. Clean up your client, you guys, this is an experience. You know, he, he is my barber brother, he works with me. One of my roll dogs, you know, I've been knowing Michael for a while now and I'm glad he's still next to me, you know? Been in different shops together and things like that, you know, but um, I'm glad he's a cool cat, man. So anyways, right back to this. Uh, same thing, you guys, zero guideline, 0 0.5 guideline, 1.5 guideline. It's the same steps for every haircut, every hairstyle, it does not matter. All right, now to the back of his head. Just run that number two all the way to the top. Zero guideline, 0 0.5 guideline with the lever all the way down. Now put the one on there, create your third guideline, one and a half. There's one, two, and three guidelines. We're gonna get rid of that top guideline first. How do we do it? A one and a half is what we created it with, so let's use a one and a half and flick our wrist. Let's get rid of that second guideline by dropping the lever a little bit lower. 
right in between, between 0 0.5 and 0 0.0. I'll put that number one on there, close now. I'm fitting in between the 0 0.5 and the one and a half. I don't use a half guard because you don't need to, you know? You do not need to. You can if you want, you know? Probably check in the amateur cabinet, you find find that for sure. All right guys, grab your handy dandy trimmer and line him up, you see he's showing me, he wants it as natural as possible. So grab your trimmer and do that to your client's lineup or to your client's beard. Here I am grabbing some handy dandy shave gel. Applying it to his cheeks before I pick up that Filoso razor blade. Putting it on my razor holder here. And this was actually before we got our Filoso Turkish razors. So if you're watching this video and wondering how can you support, you can buy our razor blades and you can also buy our Turkish razors. They're super good, they're lightweight, and they're very easy to get underneath the mustache or eyebrows and things like that. And look how natural this looks on him. We didn't force anything, these were no, no hard lines, you know? Everything here. I mean, rather they are hard lines, but not push hard lines. This is all natural, guys. This is how you become the best barber for yourself. You know, tell them to do stuff like that. Puff your cheeks out for me, bro. And I remember Marco this day, he loved his haircut. I loved it too. I was like, dang, bro, you're fresh. I kept telling him, you know, like I, like I wasn't the one who did it. Yeah, I mean, you get to a point, you know, where you like, you know, you see your client walk out the door and you're like, dang, like I did that, bro. I'm, I'm fresh, you know? Grabbing my shaver here, making him super bald, you know, just making him as crispy as possible. That's the goal here, you know? Also, over the lip like that, be careful not to go too high because you can also go too high on the mustache. The, the, over those hairs that go over his lip. And this Filoso razor blade, guys, I know it's my own razor blade, you know, I call on it, but it's so good. Please just give it a try. Once you try it, I promise you will, you will switch over. Forget about Derby, forget about Astra, forget about any of those razor, razor companies. You know, don't bring those over here, but this is a consistent, long-lasting, and super sharp razor blade. Make sure you go ahead and support us, you know? All right, for here is the handy dandy uh, shear work. We're just taking off a, a nice little, you know, three-fourths of an inch, nothing crazy. While I'm, I'm pulling directly out in a square manner, 180 degrees, I'm pulling the hair straight out and just cutting. And we can pull down or we can pull out, it doesn't matter. As long as it's all even, you know, and that's what I'm doing here. He didn't want any crazy layers or anything like that. He just wanted a nice, nice uh, chop off my tips, bro. Eesh. <laughs> chop off my tips, nothing crazy. And I'm point cutting here now and so I can go ahead and, and make those blunt lines not so blunt. Oh, these shears are huge. Yeah, they're humongous. They're seven and a half inches long. They uh, are really nice shears. I love them. Am I excessive for using these just to cut, you know, half an inch off my man's hair? Three fourths of an inch? Yeah, probably. But you know what I mean? If extra was a person, you're looking at it. guys final step here step five for this this specific haircut which is to style your client this is the before and here comes the after bang man yo if you enjoyed this video if you're rocking with us over here at Filoso Barber Brand and of course with myself Frank the man go ahead and give this video a like you know and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you guys peace